Alright guys, I'm about to make some shaking espresso. Layla, we're about to make a shake. Ooh, she doesn't lock your hair. Ooh, so pretty. I love it. Careful, babe. It's not morning, it's almost two o'clock. <laughs> um, today is Monday the 23rd. Um, I'm about to start work. I'm dressed because I have a coaching today, but whatever. Um, so yeah, today's drink of the day is a shaken espresso. I might have shown you guys how to make this in another clip, but I might have had to cut it out because my niece was in it. So. That's what I'm drinking today. Made a shaken espresso at home. Love that for me. Um, let me show you guys how the flowers are doing. Don't mind how cluttered my desk is. That's how the flowers are doing. Honestly, I don't see myself buying tulips again. They're pretty on the inside. They're not ugly. They're just not my favorite. I should I should cut them a little more. But um yeah this is how the flowers are doing still kind of cute but yeah i just don't like how this one's like leaning over like that it's bothering me there we go but yeah that's how the flowers are doing i'm getting ready to start work i should eat something but there's really nothing here that i want to eat so i'm probably just gonna eat a muffin drink that coffee and chill for a little bit I need to finish cleaning my room, which I was going to insert in the vlog, but I think I'm going to do like a room cleaning video at some point because it needs to be cleaned again. So, <sighs> yeah, um, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. The next time I decide to pick up this camera. Hey, you guys. So it is one o'clock. It's Saturday the 28th. Me and my dad just got home from Goodwill. So I'm about to show you guys what I got. I'm very excited about it. Kevin's over there on the chair looking cute. Let's get started. So this is what I got. This is a jewelry box. So the top opens up like that. There's like a bunch of organizational things to keep things. So yeah, it was only $15 at Goodwill, but my dad gets a 20% discount because he's old. And so it was, I got that and a book and everything ended up being $15 altogether. So that was cool. And they also got some sandpaper from Lowe's because I'm debating on whether or not I want to sand it down and repaint it or just leave it like it is. But I'm leaning towards sanding it down and repainting it. I'm just trying to wrap my mind around that project because that sounds like a lot. So, yeah. But that's pretty much it. No work for me today. So it's just going to be like a chill and do whatever the F I want kind of day. So I'm going to wash my hands, roll a blunt and either play Grand Theft Auto or watch The Housewives. Because I have to start working in two minutes and I don't want to. Let me take these off. I have to start working in two minutes and I don't want to. My hair is semi done because I have a coaching in a few hours. Probably like an hour. 
I have these little thing things in. I'm gonna take them out in a little bit. Pray for me, guys. Pray for me. Hey vlog, sorry for the bad lighting. I'm sitting here in my car. Um, today is Thursday. It's like 4.30 almost. Four, it's almost four actually. Um, we're about to go to the mall. We're about to have a little impromptu um, solo date right now. <clears throat> I'm really regretting not bringing any extra shoes because these shoes are hurting my feet so bad already. Um, actually, let me call my brother and see if he'll bring me down some shoes. Because the way that these boots are hurting, like, I'm trying to break them in, but I'm just like, is it even worth Hello? it? Son, are you about to come downstairs? Yeah. Can you bring me those brown boots out of my, uh, closet? No, no. I thought it was a lot of I was talking to the kids, mostly. Why are you there? For Kevin. Kevin, on your tummy, for us now. Oh, wow. Okay, you guys make Kevin uncomfortable. You guys make Kevin. Where To the right, under the hanging clothes, those dark brown long boots. Okay, so you guys remember me showing you these boots, right? These boots are from, um,. Where are these boots from? These boots are from TJ Maxx. They're Michael Kors. They're so cute. They just hurt so bad. Like, they hurt my feet so bad. So, I was really trying to, you know, wear them because I want to get my money's worth. I paid $100 for them. Um, so, I was like, maybe I just need to break them in. But just sitting here, like, they're squeezing my feet so bad they hurt. So, I'm just like, no. <laughs> I'm going to bring these other boots with me. Um, maybe I'll put those back on and then like I'll just switch off or maybe I'll just wear these. I don't know. But those hurt. So yeah. Maybe I'll just put those on like when I get to the mall and just wear them. I probably won't because I just want to like walk around the mall comfortably. So I'll probably just put these boots on. Every time I go to the mall I wear those and every time I do I regret it. They're so cute though, and like I always want to look cute when I go to fashion show because it's on the strip. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm just waiting for my boots and then I'm about to go. So, um, yeah, I'll let you guys know where we're going when we get there because I'm very excited. Okay, you guys, so I just got to the mall. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, we're going to Luke's Lobster. I just really wanted a lobster tail, or not a lobster tail. I just really wanted a lobster roll, so that's where we're going. We're at Fashion Show Mall right now. Um, it's somewhere in here. I've never been to this restaurant in particular that we're going to, but I just parked in the parking structure and we're about to go find the place, but I'm telling you now because I probably will forget to vlog, like, me walking in, like, the name of it, so I'm just gonna tell you what it's called. Um... But yeah, I'm about to put these other boots on. These are Tommy Hilfiger boots. Uh, these kind of hurt me too, but they don't hurt nearly as bad as those other ones. So I'm not anxious to like go in there and eat by myself, but I am anxious to like be vlogging in public by myself. But um, I'm gonna put these on and then I'm gonna come back to you guys because I'm struggling. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy. Thank you.
So this is the menu of the place I just left. That's what I got, the regular lobster roll. That's what I should have gotten, that warm one. That's what I'm gonna get if I ever come back here. But yeah. Is this a part of the mall? Can I go this way? But yeah, I just left uh, Luke's Lobster. That's it right there. I look like such a tourist, it's funny. I think this is the mall. I'm gonna try to go this way. But um, the lobster roll was really, really good. I would definitely recommend. They have like a little outdoor patio that you can sit at. It's super cute. Um, I spent like 30 bucks on like a lobster roll, some chips, and this root beer. So yeah, that was about how much I was expecting to spend. So I wasn't like surprised by that or anything. But now, I'm gonna go back into the mall, find the cupcakes, and then I'll probably go home. I was gonna go to the movies, but I don't think I feel like going to the movies. Thank you. So now I'm just looking for the sprinkles vending machine and then I'm out of here. Is it this way? Excuse me? Do you know where the sprinkles vending machine is? Oh, around the corner? Right in front of the escalator. Oh, okay. Thank you. But Tiffany is... So excited. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, what am I getting? I don't know. They still have banana. This is what they have. So I know I'm gonna get two of these. For sure. Wait, what? Is there only one? That's upsetting. <clears throat> Okay, well, I guess I'm only getting one. What? My products is on the way. Hey. Why did it say it was out of stock? Is there still another box? Oh no, I guess they really are out of stock. That sucks. I, I don't want chocolate. Like it's literally just like a piece of chocolate. Okay, no. Wow, I'm so upset. I don't want banana. All right, whatever. I guess I'm gonna have to take what I can get. I kind of want to go into the Zara really quick, just because I've never been into a Zara. And I honestly want to walk out as soon as I'm walking in. <clears throat> yeah, no, I can't do it. It's, uh... <laughs> Clothes in there seem like something I would never wear. <sighs> I wanted to go to Sephora while I was in here, but I think I'm just gonna go. I don't really like the Sephora that's in here. It's not that great. 
They were never really that stocked. Um, let's talk about how the last time you guys saw me, I was on my way out of the mall. We were supposed to be leaving, and I just spent $300 on Sephora. What the what? I don't even know how. Like, literally, I was leaving, and then I was like, oh, wait, I want to go to Lush because I wanted a bubble bar. And then $300 later, here we are. What? I'm supposed to be on a no buy. And I just bought all of it. Oh, God. I was literally went from on my way out of the mall to a Chanel's fragrance. Like, oh, goodness. Okay. I'm gonna do a haul when I get home, but we're really leaving this time. Jesus. <laughs> oh, goodness. This Hello Kitty Cafe, I wanna take my niece there so bad. Look at it. Can you even see that? Now I gotta find my car. Savage X Fenty, you guys. I've been wanting to come in here for like ever. Okay, guys. So we made it back to the car. Like I said, I spent way too much money. Spent three much money. Um, I'm supposed to be on a no buy. And we see how that went. <laughs> but yeah, um, Overall, this was an amazing solo date. Um, I'm very grateful that I'm able to do things like this for myself. Um, I thank God that I have like the financial means, even though I shouldn't be doing this. Um, and I thank God that I have the um, like the what is the word I'm looking for? Confidence, for lack of a better word, to like go out on these kind of solo solo dates. It can be kind of nerve-wracking for some people to like go out by themselves, which I get because like sometimes people stare at you or it's just like, I don't want to feel awkward, like I don't want to look stupid, but it's just like, I don't know. I had a lot of fun. I always have a lot of fun when I do these kind of like solo dates with myself. The impromptu ones seem to be the best ones, so <laughs> yeah. But I definitely did tell myself last night like I want to do something today and I actually got out of my house and I did it. And um, it wasn't looking that way this morning because I slept until literally like 2 or 3 p.m. today. But I still ended up getting out of the house and doing everything I said I wanted to do. So, yeah. Only thing I have left to do this weekend or like on my off days is for this week is laundry. You guys, I've been putting off laundry for weeks. Weeks. Okay. So, um, if I could get that done today or tomorrow, that would be perfect. But, yeah. I'm gonna stop rambling, I'm gonna head home, and I'll show you guys what we got when we get back to the house. Okay guys, I just got home. So I stopped at Dollar Tree, but I didn't end up showing you guys. They, that Dollar Tree sucked, they didn't have anything good. So I literally only ended up getting this one thing, which is just a toy for Kevin. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know Kevin loves these things. You could see he's already trying to attack it. So, I wanted to get that out of the way first. Freaking loves these things, man. I don't know why, but he does. So I got that for Kevin, and it's like a little Valentine's Day heart. How cute, right? Adorable. So I went to, what was it, Joe? It's not Joe's, the, the, the lobster place. And, um, I kept my receipt so I could tell you guys how much it was. The food was really good. I remember telling you guys that. The food was amazing. Would definitely go back. Oh, it was Luke's. Um, so I ended up spending $28.18 for just me. So, yeah, that's what I got. That's how much it was. Yeah. Um, like I said, it was worth it. I would go back. I'm into it. Um, then at the mall. Oh, no. I knocked it over. Oh. Why? Why? At the mall, I got a vanilla cupcake from Sprinkles that I tipped over. Um, I wanted to get more than one, but they only had literally just the one. So that's what I got. And I also went to Lush. I don't think I vlogged inside of Lush, though. I just kind of ran in and ran out. Um, I got 
Oh my goodness, it smells so good. I got two bubble bars. This one looks like this. It looks like a rose. It smells phenomenal. It has glitter on it. And then this one is a part of their Valentine's Day collection. It's a little strawberry. How cute. I love their bath bombs. So hopefully I like these two. And I'll let you guys see when I try these out. And then she ended up giving me a sample of this. Uh, oh, this is like the rose. This is what is this shower gel so yeah smell it mm. it smells like that first bath bomb i showed you guys so it smells really good it smells like roses so last thing i'm going to show you is this big sephora bag you guys like i told you in the mall i was on my way out i was leaving and then sephora got me but i got a sample of prada candy and then I ended up getting some bougie cotton. They didn't have the small one, so I just ended up getting the big one. I was like, okay, whatever. So I'm completely out of cotton rounds, so I was like, I need something. And then at the last second, I threw in this one size, the mini setting powder in translucent. Uh, I just wanted to try it out. People keep saying it's really good. Um, and then actually Aaliyah's face influenced me to buy both of these, so this is really her fault. I'm just saying. So the powder she recommended and then she also recommended this Laneige Lip Glowy Balm and I got the color Berry. Uh, you guys have probably seen this everywhere. She said that she like loves this stuff so I figured I'd try it out. Um, I re-upped on my, what is this, First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser. I love this stuff. Uh, Catherine Bedell on YouTube put me onto this like I want to say like a year or two ago and I have not used another cleanser since like. I love this stuff. I'm running out, so I got some more. And then I'm also out of eye cream and moisturizer, like almost completely. I'm completely out of eye cream. I'm almost completely out of moisturizer. So I got this Clinique All About Eye Serum. I got this because it has like the little roller ball like on the package so you like roll it on your eye and i like rolled it on my hand in the store to try it and it was like so cooling and refreshing on my hand i was like this feels like it would be, feel amazing on the eyes so really excited to try that and then i got the belief true cream aqua balm this is just moisturizer it's like a gel kind of cream so if you have oily skin and you like those like gel kind of consistency moisturizers you'd probably like this and then let's last thing i got from sephora oh she put more samples in here i didn't even know she put these samples in here so she put this pharmacy honey glow moisturizer sample in here and then two of these um serums skin fx barrier serum so she put two of those in there so shout out to her thank you for that ma'am i didn't even notice um and then the last thing i got was the chanel chance E -tun -tindre? Tindre? E -tindre? I don't know but this is what it looks like I was gonna get this other one by Chanel but I sprayed this one and the other one on my wrists before I went up to the checkout and I kept oh you can still smell them I kept smelling them and in the bottle I liked this whatever when I sprayed on this hand more I liked it more in the bottle but then as I let it sit on my skin I liked this one more so this is what I ended up leaving with, and I love it. So that's everything I got at Sephora, you guys. I don't even want to tell you how much I spent, because it is sickening. <sighs> okay, at Sephora, at Sephora, I spent $335, okay? And 96 cents. Disgusting. But I needed all of this stuff. This facial cotton was 13 This was 136 this was 24 oh shit this stuff was 65 dollars i did not realize that this was 65 dollars i thought this was cheaper oh wow okay um this was 17 this was 18 this said that it was 15 in store just saying and then this was 37 so yeah ugh, ugh. but yeah you guys that's everything i got for today um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little solo date video. If you guys want more of these kinds of videos, just let me know. And I will definitely give them to you guys. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys everything. And I'm just about to chill, play with Kevin and his new toy. And I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys. So, I am about to try this Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in Berry. 
The Sephora and the mall had all the flavors. They were stocked up on this, okay? So let's see. This is what it looks like. Can you guys even see that? My lips are so dry. Hmm. Oops. It smells good. Hmm. Okay, okay. I'm feeling this. I like this better than the other ones that I have. The I have a sleep mask by them, and I also have another tube, but it's not the this thing. It's something else, but... I like this better. This looks like a lip gloss. Okay. This is cute. Aaliyah's face never steers me wrong. We knew this was going to be cute. Just love this. Okay. Alright. It says your daytime to solution to hydrated and tinted kissable lips. Hmm. I like this so far. Smells good. Feels good. I'll let you guys know if there's anything that changes, but I highly doubt it. Why did I put it back in the box? Why did I do that? But yeah, like I said, I got this shade Berry. I'm a fan. This is like $17 though. It's like super bougie. You don't need this, but if you want it, check it out. Oh, guys. I need to do laundry, but my brother's not answering, so I guess I'm just about to chill. I need to charge my camera. I'm tired. Kind of hungry, kind of not. My brother just went to Popeyes, but I didn't get him anything. Not really feeling Popeyes. Ugh. I'm gonna have to find something to eat for tonight though. And then, ooh, I wanna film an unboxing of this perfume for TikTok. But I feel like I should put on nails because my fingernails look horrible. Like, my natural nails just not given. So, then again, maybe I shouldn't film an unboxing because my hands look awful. Kevin be fucking me up. So maybe not that. I don't know. But I want to open this. Maybe I'll just open it with you guys. F TikTok, right? Right. Okay. So it's the Chanel E Tendre. I think I showed you guys before and told you guys. I don't know how to pronounce it. The bottle is so much prettier when you get it home. You guys, oh my goodness, look at this. The top, the one at Sephora didn't have the top, so I had no idea that the top looked like this. But it's like this clear, and then it obviously says Chance Chanel, and then it has the name at the bottom, and then it has this plate at the bottom that has like all the details. Ah, I love it. This is my first Chanel fragrance. Edit toilets made in France. Ooh. So this is the 3.4. And I think, oh no, they have other sizes, I think. But yeah, I ended up getting the 3.4. I love this bottle. OMG. I have to spray it. I just have to because I'm going to try to spray it like. I feel like at first, it doesn't, that was so awkward, but um, I feel like at first it doesn't smell that great to me, but as it sits on my skin, I like it more and more. Oh yes, as it sits, it just, mm, mm, it just does something, I don't know. I like this. This does not smell like old lady because a lot of the Chanel perfume smell like old lady not gonna lie this doesn't at all this smells heavenly oh my goodness this smells freaking amazing 
and the bottle is so cute and the liquid look it has like a pink tint to it ah i love it this is my new favorite i love that so yeah i'm gonna go frolic so i'll talk to you guys in a little bit i contemplate that